This video is brought to you by SeatGeek. All right, another episode of Deeper Than R.E.O.P. Yes, sir. Uh, this one we're doing by your suggestion. D'Angelo's Brown Sugar, his debut album. It came out in 1995. Mm-hmm. I admit, I never even I never heard a D'Angelo album a day in my life. Really? Nah, this is my first time ever listening to a D'Angelo album, to be honest. Damn, this he was just one. Of, he was just one of them niggas that I just like seen him and I wrote him off. Yeah, because you know I'm a big Maxwell fan, so right. I seen that nigga. I was like, man, this fake ass Maxwell, man, get this nigga out of here, bro. Nah, man, I think he was the uh, the second wave of, of smooth after that, you know. Yeah, then of course, what, another thing I remember seeing was this nigga butt ass naked. That was problematic. I'm pretty sure the women liked it, but. Fuck that. To the niggas. <laughs> I like this nigga butt ass naked oiled up in the dark. I was like, I- I'm supposed to listen to this nigga? Never seen that video. You never seen the video? I mean, I know it exists. <coughs> but nah, never seen the video. I remember Jamie Foxx did the parody on the Jamie. You ever seen when the Jamie Foxx show when he did it? <laughs> nah. Nah. I-, I can't think of it at least. The Jamie Foxx one is funny as fuck because that <laughs> nigga. He got some fake ass braids and then like you can see the nigga out on some boxers. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. I'm gonna have to go check that out. With the D'Angelo one, I was like, bro, can you even show this shit on TV? But that shit used to be on that like, all the time. Everywhere, like, yeah. I was like, bro, this nigga butt ass naked in the video, bro. Like, Whatever, bro. I'm not listening to it. The song was fired. How does it feel? It was fire, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I was like, nah, I don't really know know about this nigga, man. <laughs> It's my first time I ever listened to a D'Angelo album, and I must say, it's pretty good. Yeah, I was going to ask. First take. Um, I love it. I love the album. Yeah, I was asleep. So, usually I ask, I pretty much answer the question. Before we did this episode, when was the last time you listened to this album? Um, it's funny because I had just, like, re-downloaded it probably a month ago. So, mm-hmm. um, I had been running the album for a little while beforehand. Okay. Before that, before was, before uh, we decided to do, you know, before you asked me to, it, what, episode, I mean, what album? Well, before you downloaded it, when was the last time you heard it? Um, probably maybe four years. Four Three years. Four years. Yeah. Three or four years. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna admit, it's, uh, has uh, this is probably gonna be a short ass episode. It's really not much on this album. It's not much. And then one thing about the album um, that I was kind of reminded of as I went back there listening, um, a lot of the songs have that same. I think the same melody makes them sound very similar. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, they 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 blend very well together. Let's say it like that. Yeah. It's not gonna be like. The Marvin Gaye inter- I mean Marvin Gaye episode I'm right. definitely not Marvin Gaye interview I ain't trying to interview That nigga <laughs> Anytime soon Yeah That corpse walking in <laughs> I'm walking out Yeah I ain't interviewing That might be who Who knocked that light Over the other day Bruh We still ain't figured that out <laughs> <laughs> But yeah It ain't gonna be detailed Like the Marvin Gaye Cause it's not really That much history To this album It's just like a regular album But yeah. um So D'Angelo and when I was doing this, I found out this nigga name is not D'Angelo. What is it? Nigga named like Mike or some shit like that. Get the fuck out of here. Nigga was like D'Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, how the fuck do you even come up with that name? But yeah, the nigga name not D'Angelo. It's like Not his Mike. middle name or nothing? No, this nigga named like Mike something. Mike Larry or something. <laughs> all right. I don't know what this is. But yeah, this nigga name is not D'Angelo. I was like, all right, whatever. So while doing the research, I found out this nigga... D'Angelo, that's what we're gonna call him today. <laughs> He's from Virginia. Yeah. So uh apparently he was working on this album. So the album came out July 3rd, 1995. He started working, well, he started his career in 1991. He was in high school. He dropped out of high school at the age of, I think he was like 17 or some shit like that. Yeah. Moved to New York. He was from Virginia. He was a Virginia nigga. Um, <laughs> moved, to, moved to New York And uh, he started uh, Doing music To uh, I guess pay the bills I guess I don't know Whatever that nigga need to do 
uh, pay for coochie. I don't know. Right. I don't know what you uh, niggas that do music do music for. <laughs> Joe, what did you do music for? For the love, nigga. For the love. <laughs> I guess that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what music music making niggas do music for these days. Oh, so back then, nineteen ninety one. Right. <laughs> I can't imagine how much coochie cost in nineteen ninety one. This nigga <laughs> Swooning hoes with a song <laughs> So this nigga He moved to New York Or whatever In 1991 Dropped a couple demos Got signed in 91 But the album didn't come out Until 1995 What put Ma- I mean Think about the GOAT Maxwell <laughs> What put D'Angelo on Was this song That I did not know he wrote So <laughs> 